I'd like to use Green's theorem in the following format, um, where we'll look at the integral of p dx plus q dy, the line integral over c. Um, that's equal to, according to Green's theorem, the double integral of the region bounded by c, this double, uh, this two-dimensional region, of partial q uh, with respect to x minus partial p with respect to y dA. And the example we'll look at is the line integral over a circle of radius root 6 um, of e to the negative x squared plus 2y dx. So I hope you can see that this has to be our p plus the uh, integral of our q is going to be 9x minus ln of 1 plus y squared over 1 plus y to the fourth dy. Now, this is actually going to be a nice conversion because um, just on the right side of Green's theorem, we're going to have that this is equal to um, double integral over d, and d is going to be a filled-in disk. We'll catch the details for that a little bit later, but we need the partial derivative of q with respect to x. Well, fortunately, this weird thing with all the y's in it goes away. We differentiate with respect to x and just get a 9. And we subtract the partial of p with respect to y, so you just get a 2. And then you have dA. Now, because the region d is actually a filled-in disk of radius root 6, it will actually be really nice to convert this integral into polar coordinates. So integral theta goes from 0 to 2 pi. Integral r goes from 0 to root 6 of r integrand is 7, and dA becomes r dr d theta. We'll skip the details, but this is actually equal to 42 pi.